Hi, guys. How are you doing, sir? I couldn't be better. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What is your name? I am Smoothini. You are Smoothini. The ghetto Houdini. Like Houdini, but ghetto. But ghetto. Yes, sir. I, I, you are a magician, then? Yes, sir. A bar magician, to be exact. A bar magician? Well, this is a big bar here. So have you been doing magic all your life? Is that what you've been doing as a... Um, I was a Marine. Well, thank you for your service. Welcome. Hurrah. And you're no longer in the Marines? No, sir. Are you doing this full time? Yes, sir. And uh, how was it going for you? It could be a lot better in about five minutes. <laughs> okay. Let's see you do what you do. Am, am I allowed to go closer to you guys? You can, yes. All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, the thing about bar magic as opposed to regular magic is the fact that I don't use big props. I don't, I can't afford them. <laughs> and that's Whoa. all I have to oh, dazzle yeah. the world. Right. Now, the thing about magic that happens close to your face is that it has to be performed exquisitely. I can't pronounce that word correctly, but... <laughs> oh! Excuse me. <laughs> just cost the card. But, honestly, I... Whoa! Whoa. Just do not like card tricks, because... Oh, that's amazing! But, where are you coming from? But I have a beautiful six-year-old son, and um, I want to do something to you, Miss Mel. B. Oh, wow! That my little boy likes. Can I see your hand? The other side. Thank you. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna take this ball, put it right about here. I want you to hold that ball real tight for me. Thank you. With that ball there and that ball there, we're gonna go abracadabra. Open up your hand. Oh. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Let me mentally assault you two on the other hands. <laughs> because, because I am ghetto. Whoa. Thank you. Not my name, though. <laughs> that is the name. Whoa! Wowza! Oh! Whoa! Thank you! We didn't know what to expect, but he brought it. I came from the Dominican Republic when I was three. I grew up in Washington Heights, where I grew up. You definitely had to have some street smarts. Oh, what's up, mama? My block was my family. I could not be who I am if it wasn't for what happened on this block. It's your roots. When I was younger, I would do magic on the street corner. I used to sit here for hours practicing card tricks. There is no magic shop in Washington Heights. All I used for my magic tricks was anything I could get my hand on. Smooth, do that trick, do that trick oh, with the matches. <laughs> One of my fondest memories growing up is watching Cheers with my dad. When I was about 16, I would sneak into the neighborhood bar and just start doing magic. My parents had zero clue that I was even leaving the house. I was like, Houdini, gone. <laughs> If I know that at that time, he would be in trouble. He's lucky that I didn't know that. <laughs> I joined the Marine Corps at the age of 21. Right after boot camp, they sent me directly to Kuwait. And during our downtime, I would do magic to all the guys, and it, it totally helped me perfect my craft. From doing magic on the street corner. Fast forward 26 years, and now I'm performing for millions of people. <laughs> That's big. We both very proud of him. Very, very proud. I always dream big. I have no idea where this dream is going to take me. How you guys doing tonight? You having a good time? Yeah. Tonight, I want to do a magic trick with something that all of us are familiar with. Some cold, hard cash. Not a lot, but you know, just enough for the trick. Just a bunch of ones. Now, Mel, I know it's a big night for you. 
A lot of uh, tension, a lot of people here. Don't get nervous, okay? Let me see your hands. I won't be nervous. Try not to, right over here. But for some reason, one's not look cute on you. How about that? Whoa! Stop it! Did you see that change? Did you see that? Because you can't, that. Buy, you can't buy shoes with a bunch of ones. It's impossible. I don't know if the audience saw it. It changed like that. From ones to hundreds. Just now, like... you, you guys are parents, oh, right? Come on. <laughs> we like that. I right. love that. Well, you guys are parents, right? Yes. When I had my first child, I realized something very quickly. That for every hundred that I thought I had, I honestly had half. Whoa. How do you do that? I can't Three see. weeks ago, I seriously had a pair of beautiful twins, boy and girl. So even half of that is actually wow. gone. Wow! It changed into a toy. I have a beautiful lady that I have to please, and then um, she takes about half of that. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. And of course, Uncle Sam has his two cents, and I'm actually broke at and the end of the up, day. And then it disappears. <laughs> <laughs> it's everybody's dream to be able to manipulate money, especially hundreds. And there's a lot of ways to figure out if you have a real money, a uh, real hundred or a fake hundred in uh, Howard. You know a lot about hundreds, right? Absolutely I do. Yeah, yeah, but you do. The first way you can realize if a hundred is real or not is by the touch. The second one is by the watermark right about here. The third is the holographic strip. But the last but not least, the most iconic way to know if you have a real hundred or not is the uh, federal seal right here. Watch. No. Shut up. No! How do you do that? Wait, you moved that? I, I want you to check that? it out. Check it out. Scratch it. I'm, I'm Is telling, it real? It's, it's real. It's on. It's attached. <laughs> Hot. Is there anything fishy? Show them out. Is there anything fishy in it? I, I can see it. Look, I'm right, right there. I'm showing the people who vote. Well, they, well Howie. It's amazing. Well, Howie. Okay. <laughs> what about this? <gasps> A fish. Hi, lad, there. Say oh, hi to Zoe. Oh, my God. Thank you very much, guys. Where were you keeping that? <laughs> 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 <laughs>